Hey everybody, how many days till Halloween? I'm here today to recreate a makeup look that I wore to a party a few months ago. You had to dress up as a song title and I went as Haunting Picture from Corpus Delicti, one of my all-time favourite bands. I thought it would be fun to recreate and I thought you might enjoy seeing how it's done. The costume was definitely a success, a lot of people jumped or screamed and it was perfect, which is really what you want to achieve with a spooky costume, right? Actually to scare people. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do the Haunting Picture makeup. I'm starting off by applying my usual white foundation from Illamasqua. Of course you don't have to use white if it's not going to match your skin tone. I have currently got no contact lenses in and can hardly see a thing, but uh, I'll do my very best. Then I'm going over the top of that with a transparent matte powder. Now I'm taking Craving Eyeshadow from NYX, a matte grey colour, to fill in the contours of my face. Just under my cheekbones, around my jaw and such. Now I'm taking the same eyeshadow on a smaller brush and using it to fill in the hollows of my eyes and go over my eyelids. Now with a black coal pencil I'm outlining the crease of my eyelids. Now I'm drawing on the shape of my eyebrows using L'Oreal Black Buster, my favourite liquid liner for doing eyebrows. Here I'm giving my eyebrows sharpness and definition using a black liquid liner on a thin brush. Now I'm highlighting my eyelids using a white eyeshadow. This is Taco from Sugar Pill. Now I'm doing a big swoopy cat eye for a change. Doing the main parts with a big thick eyeliner pen and the finer parts with one that comes on a smaller brush. This doesn't have to be neat, especially not underneath. So if you screw it up or smudge it a bit, it really doesn't matter. For my next trick, I am taking a black matte eyeshadow, Bulletproof from Sugar Pill, and using a small applicator sponge to deepen the crease of my eyes, put some underneath, swooping it right up along the cat eye, and blending it out a bit. Once again, doesn't have to be neat, really doesn't matter if it's not. Now I'm just applying black mascara. So you want a small amount of water or contact lens fluid. Now here's the really fun part, doing the black and white tears. Put the tears on, you can use anything really. You can use a little brush or a q-tip is the best thing, I think. And I'm just dabbing some black eyeshadow on under my eyes and smearing it down my cheeks like tears with the water. You want it to look really uneven. You've got a lot of creative license here. You can make your tears as long as you want or as dark as you want. Keep adding blobs of eyeshadow, blobs of water until you're happy. Adding bits of dry eyeshadow here and there. Looks quite cool I think. For the white part I'm taking my little wet brush again, dipping it into my white eyeshadow and blobbing it randomly over the top of the black tears. You can go right up to the lash line if you like so it looks more like it's actually falling out of your eyes. Let it crumble, let it fall. Having more of the white kind of dry looks a bit more like dust. First I'm taking a jumbo sized pair of black lashes and a pair of great big white feather lashes which I have chopped up with a pair of scissors to make them in a regular shape and randomly splattered them with mascara. First I'm applying the black lashes with duo eyelash glue. Then I am very carefully stacking the white lashes behind those ones. So the effect is that of huge black and white messy lashes. I have linked below to where you can find lashes like this. Now that the mess under my eyes is totally dry, I'm just going to draw some false lashes on with some liquid eyeliner underneath. And for my lips, just black gel eyeliner. Now there's just one more thing to do to make this look truly creepy and unsettling. Bye. Boo. As you can see, on one eye I have a whiteout mesh lens, and on the other eye I have a whiteout coronas lens, which basically means it has a ring around the outside. And yes, I will also link below as to where I got these from. And yes, they are also prescription. Now I can see better than before. And there we are. We are finished. Well I hope you found this video helpful and thank you very much for watching. Any idea what you might be for Halloween yet? Because I personally still don't know. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my channel. I make at least two videos a week. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and stay spooky. Bye!